In this video, we're going to solve the FizzBuzz problem in C++. FizzBuzz is actually a really popular software developer job interview question because it tests our ability to think through a small programming problem. So FizzBuzz is actually a game played by children where the children sit in a circle and the first child says the number one and the next child says the number two and so on. Except when a number is divisible by three, the child says fizz instead of the number and when a number is divisible by 5, the child says buzz instead of the number. And when a number is divisible by both 3 and 5, the child says fizz buzz instead of the number. A number is divisible by 3 if we can divide the number by 3 and have no remainder. And it works the same way with 5. So the sequence that fizz buzz generates looks like this, with 3 replaced by fizz, 5 replaced by buzz, 6 replaced by fizz, and so on. And we see that where the number 15 would go, we have fizz buzz, because 15 is divisible by both 3 and 5. So that means if we divide 15 by 3, we have 0 remainder. And when we divide 15 by 5, we also have 0 remainder. So let's create a C++ program to generate the first 100 values in the fizz buzz sequence. So the first thing we'll do is create a for loop with a counter variable i that we're going to initialize to 1. We're going to increment i by 1 with each loop iteration. We're going to stop the loop once i is no longer less than or equal to 100. So with this loop here, we're going to take the counter variable i from 1 to 100. And initially, let's just output i in the loop body. So here, we'll just have c out and we'll output i followed by an end line just so that way each number appears on its own line. So because we're taking i from 1 to 100 by 1 with each loop iteration, we should get the numbers from 1 to 100. Let's save, compile, and run the program. And we can see that's what we get. So if I scroll up here, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then all the way down to 100 down here. So the program is working so far. With FizzBuzz though, we have some exceptions. So if the number is divisible by 3, we want to output fizz instead. So we'll have a check for that. If i modulus 3 is equal to 0, we're going to output fizz followed by an end line. Otherwise, we're going to output the number. So here, we're using the modulus operator. The modulus operator is going to return the remainder of i divided by 3. And if the remainder of i divided by 3 is 0, we know the number is divisible by 3. And in that case, we're going to output fizz. Let's try this version out. We can save, compile, and run our program. And if we scroll up here, we can see that 3 has been replaced with fizz, 6 has been replaced with fizz, 9 has been replaced with fizz, and so on. So this part is working. Let's get buzz working next. We'll have an else if branch, and we'll check to see if i modulus 5 is equal to 0. So here we're checking to see if i is divisible by 5 using the same technique as we did above with 3. And if i is divisible by 5, we're going to output buzz. So we'll have c out buzz followed by an end line. And if we save, compile, and run this version and scroll up, we're going to see that 5 has been replaced with buzz, 10 has been replaced with buzz, and so on. So this part of the program is also working. So next, if the number is divisible by 3 and by 5, we want to output fizz buzz. This part here is where sometimes people make a mistake. What they'll do is add another else if branch here. So they'll have else if i modulus 3 is equal to 0 and i modulus 5 is equal to 0, then we'll output fizz buzz followed by an end line. And this here looks like it should work because we're checking to see if i is divisible by 3 and we're checking to see if i is divisible by 5. The problem is we've already checked here if i is divisible by 3. And if i actually is divisible by 3 and by 5, we'll have already output fizz. 
this condition will have already been true, and we'll never actually reach this condition and evaluate it. So that's why this approach won't work. If we save, compile, and run our code here, we'll see that in cases like 15, for example, we just get fizz, even though 15 is divisible by both three and five. So what we need to do is actually have this condition first. We'll actually cut this and paste it up here. We'll change this to if, and we'll make the second condition an else if. Now this should work because in the case that i is divisible by both three and five, we're going to output fizz buzz. But in the case that it's divisible by one or the other, this condition is not going to be true. And we'll output either fizz or buzz depending on which number i is divisible by. So we can save, compile, and run a program. And now we'll get the correct fizz buzz sequence. So up here we'll have one, two, fizz, four, buzz, fizz, seven, eight, fizz, buzz, 11, fizz, 13, 14. And then at 15, we do get fizz buzz. If we go down here to 30, we'll also get fizz buzz. So now our program is working correctly. So this is how we can output the fizz buzz sequence using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.